He's got the style, he's got the bling. It's a shiggity diggity brand new thing. It's Kite playing Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. Let's get ourselves on over to the final platforming level. Welcome to a relatively fun level, until it comes to collecting the clue bottles, but we won't get to that yet. That is not so nice of a point about this level, so I'm not going to talk about it yet. Instead, let's talk about the other aspects of this level that are done well. First off, we're surrounded by water, lots of water, water that does nothing but contain random body parts, I don't know why, voodoo, voodoo, you do, also that coming. Now this is why this guy's a wuss. You get up next to him and and he freaking doesn't do anything. He just sits there going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't hurt me. Then you go behind him and the skull lights up and he tries to bomb you. So you just hit him. I hope you guys enjoyed that climb. You're gonna be seeing that climb a lot. Do I die? No. 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 Fate much worse than that, I'll tell you that much. Because you see, one of the problems with this level is that in order to effectively collect every single clue bottle, you must redo that climbing section three times. Now, how can this be? Well, you see, those rats at the beginning that we snuck past, we've got to get onto their platforms, but they're too far apart to jump between, so we have to jump on one at a time. And guess what? There are three of these areas, which means we have to jump down and then walk all the way back. So I try to make it as painless as possible, but one of the problems with this is that the control scheme I use means that it's very hard to actually hold down the fast button while running around, which leads to me jumping into the water a lot. Luckily, it's still easy to use it whenever I'm on... Bones. But sometimes it just doesn't work either way. If it weren't for water safety, this level would be a big pain in my backside. And all that stuff, it, it just isn't very pretty. So instead, let's, let, let's just get back to trying to progress here. You know, jump across and destroy that stupid alarm system so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And those platforms there do not respawn, so I still have to jump across without them. It's pretty easy, but you know. Worth it. Another issue as far as the rat areas go, underneath us, the problem is that the reason that you can't actually jump between them is because the borders are spiked, and simply walking into the spikes causes you to get hit. All this basically means is that you can't jump unless there's no spikes there. And a few times I do almost get hit by the spikes, if it weren't for the fact that there were these bones here that automatically you get sucked to whenever you press the circle button. I'd I'd be screwed, for lack of a better term. So instead, we're on our third trip now, and I promise you, only one more, and we'll be able to see something brand new. But, like with all good things, we must wait. And by we, I mean you. After all, why would I ever have to wait? Hmm. Well, that's why made the stupid mistake of getting hit. That's right, folks. That's right. That means you get to see it one extra time. However, 
Uh, this actually turned out to be good in my favor because not only did some of the coins come back so that I can get a lucky charm, which will be useful for later, uh, it's just a nice thing to have. Look, I I'm trying to justify something that really can't be justified here. There's no reason I should have died there other than sheer stupidity, but hey, what do I care? I'm freaking Kite Ride Gar. I can do whatever I want in my thread, right? Right. It's not like anybody's gonna say anything about it. Ha! Huh. Well, I'd rather she be making threats towards us than talking about her plans to conquer the fabled land of Mexico. Freaking Mexico. It's like, gee, what are you gonna do? An army of zombies. An army of zombies. Okay. You you can't get that anywhere else? Um, hello, dead bodies, cemeteries, graves. You've already got an army of ghosts. Come on! What does Mexico have that no other country has? And don't say churros. Though, in her defense, if she did take over Mexico so just for the churros, I wouldn't blame her. But she's not going to take care of Mexico anyway. Also, that's what that is. It's not some brand new type of lighting, it's a gigantic frickin' searchlight. Ah, uh, yeah. Giant searchlights. Now we get to listen to a very annoying al alarm siren go off as we slowly climb around here, and there we go. And now you get to watch me fumble up... that. First part right here, you see? The problem comes with getting these clue bottles. Because the camera doesn't actually allow for much in maneuverability around enclosed areas. So hey, I've got something for you. How about we shut off that stupid alarm? Yeah, that works. Now we just have to pick up all these uh, voodoo candles and that'll destroy that purple gate up above us. And by above us, I mean in front of us. It'll also open up that log and bye-bye, you little chicken -less. Well, that about takes care of that. We're right at the final legs of the level. We've got ourselves a few more clue balls to collect, some torch jumping, and we've got ourselves one other thing. This rat. Let's, uh, let's give him a nice little farewell, you know? After all, you figure one of the last enemies in the level, let's be nice to him. BOOM! That explosion is so unsatisfying. So we hit that, makes us huge, you don't know how big, huge, slippery vine up here, and detour. What's a detour for? Well, for the safe. These codes are nothing before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be five, seven, one. Mind bending is Matthew de la Coupe's perpetual slow motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. So hey, there you go. 
Instant slow motion. This... This... Is the best move. We no longer have to worry about being in the air for it. We just use it whenever we like. If I feel like making something dramatic, I can press the triangle button. If I feel like making something slow down, I can press the triangle button. If I feel like making this entirely, normally very short and very quick ride into a lengthy look all around us tour, I can press the triangle button. And you know what? It's pretty darn cool, man. So instead, let's just... There we go. That's more like it. Well, here we are, back in the Swamp Stark Center. The dark center of the swamp. And what do we get here? Well, we're gonna run around for a bit. There's nothing else here to do. But, we do have this right here, which is pretty cool. It's where we're supposed to go if we want to unlock this middle. Now that we have all the keys, we don't have to worry about anything. So, next time on Sly Cooper and Athebius Recordness, boss. Sly tried jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into this ruby skull temple. 